Alright, what is it that you want? I'm not some good worker. He says I'm a very nice. I am not that stupid. You're holding out the Neon Annihilator and you're literally a pirate shark. You will whack me with that as soon as I touch water. I'm too ridiculous. I will never do that to someone so handsome and delicious lo- Pirate's melee weapons frankly suck. You got only three good options, meanwhile the rest are either mediocre or just frankly terrible. But while some of them are really bad, the Neon Annihilator has become my favorite pyro melee to mess with, just because its gimmick is so goddamn stupid that I love it. So let's talk about it. Neon Annihilator was added to the game back in 2012, in the Tribe Pack update, which also added some other mediocre weapons like Hulong Heater. It has only received one balance and sensing its damage penalty to only apply for players and not buildings, which you now haven't really sensed the weapon for the better. So about the gimmick. Neon can remove sappers in two hits, it has crits against wet players, and it doesn't have any random crits and deals 20 less percent less damage against players. Alright, you get the idea, this weapon is pure garbage. It's Forced on the homebreaker which can remove sappers in one hit and it deals less damage against players, making it less appealing to use as a combo or last its option. So why do people even use this and throw it in the dumpster with the weapons like Fragment and the Hot Hand? Well, because it's a stupid gimmick weapon that allows you to be a Pyrosark, that's why. Critting wet players is stupid yet oddly fun. I just don't understand why, but this weapon just activates the monkey parts of my brain and makes me go Yippee but here comes the most unfortunate fact. This weapon isn't really viable on most of the maps because it records wet players. Most maps don't have water on them like bad water has water on its name, but there is none to be found. What is this bullshit? The only map Neon is most viable in is... Two Fort. You know, one of the worst maps on the game on the worst game mode as well. So locking this weapon's viability and gimmick to one map is already bad enough, but sometimes the enemies just refuse to go to the water. But it's still pretty satisfying when they drop down and you get that dopamine inducing hit. The other maps this weapon can work in are Veil, well, Double Cross, Powerhouse and Bloodwater. Veil well is simple, it has a water with Lang. Double Cross has some body of water but you have to be patient because they need to cross this point to be considered wet. Powerhouse can work but good fucking luck getting to the middle points water because of choky this map is and Bloodwater is a decent option for like one month because of the pool of water in this part. Neon is kinda doomed to be mediocre and a direct downgrade on most maps. But you want to know one way to fix it and make it even more hilarious? Combine it with Mad Milk or Charati. I swear it was 10 times more funny when a scout vets a player and I swing them on a dry ground. I had so much fun that I started calling this strategy Milky Scout. If only this weapon could combine with Gas Passer, this would be at least more viable on maps that don't have water. But if you want good ways to catch off enemies off guard, number one, have patience, number two, get your mom's credit card to buy high five and use it to corner pig. That way you can literally jump scare them. But yeah, this weapon sucks ass and is a stupid gimmick. How could you fix it? Simple, remove the minus 20% damage penalty and replace it with 20% slower swing speed. Make it like the market gardener where you can crit fed players and while you're airborne. Imagine how hilarious it will be to see a pirate throw subclass. And it will make the weapon a bit better on maps that don't have water. Neon Annihilator is just another example of pirate's crappy melee weapons, but you know what? It's fucking hilarious to crit fed players with it, and it's pretty refreshing to just take things simple and just play like an idiot for once. I mean, I love being the team carrying the engineer or combo menace pyro, but sometimes it's good to just slow down and wait for the perfect opportunity to whack someone with a street sign. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.